Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I want to compare Name Hero to GoDaddy so you can figure out if we're the best alternative or what the best alternative to GoDaddy is. So before I start, let me get into the catalyst behind this video so you kind of have an understanding while I'm doing this. Um, since I own a web hosting company, I frequently ask people when I see them out in public or when I meet people at new meetings and stuff, you know, who do you use for domain registrations? Um, who do you use for web hosting? It's an honest question, so I ask it a lot. And most of the time, when, especially when I mention domains, people bring up GoDaddy. So because of that, I want to do this video just so we can kind of dig a little bit more into this. Now, if I head over to Name Hero here, let me bring up our blog. I just published a post called Best GoDaddy Alternative for 2017, Name Hero versus GoDaddy. And inside this post, I um, talk a lot about um, GoDaddy's advertising. So, um, and I also talk about that it's not really a secret once you look at the numbers about why people um, know of GoDaddy. If you look here, this is, um, they're publicly traded, so they're required by the um, SEC um, to publish their financials each quarter, um, each year. They have to compile these reports and publish them. Uh, so you can see last year, 2016, they spent $228 million in sales and marketing. 220, or 202 million the year before, 164 million the year before, and it goes all the way back. Now you can see in 2011, they only spent 3.8 million. So they weren't that big, they, they had this tremendous jump, which, which is accredited to going public and to gathering all this. Um, but that's a different story. Uh, and you can look at their revenues. Last year they did $1.8 billion. Now compared to $31 million back in 2011, I mean, it shows you that sales and marketing, of course, works. And the, the more they do, um, the bigger they got. So they, they're actually a behemoth in the industry. So it's, and once you look at the numbers, it's no secret um, why one out of 10 people, maybe even more than that, um, know and understand of GoDaddy. And then, you know, when you're spending um, almost a billion dollars in five years on advertising, you're going to, as long as, you, hopefully, you're going to um, really penetrate the market. So um, GoDaddy is kind of like the Walmart of the web hosting and domain registration business. Okay, so with that said, that's why they're so known. Now, I want to dig into, first, their flagship product, and that's a domain registration. Even current customers that come into Name Hero, most of them, the majority of them, they, if they already have a website, a lot of them have at least one domain with GoDaddy. So, that, you know, they've, they've seen the ads, they've seen the marketing, uh, and they've registered a domain. So I wanted to compare them. Now, if you go to GoDaddy and register.com, it's a little bit confusing up front. So if we get here, their live chat's coming up. Let's close that out and let's search for a new domain. This is my new name, 2017alec.com. Search. It takes a second. Okay, so it comes up here and you see they've got their price $11.99 with an asterisk, which means, of course, there's going to be some upsells. So I want to look at this and you can see there's all these other TLDs on here. TLDs meaning these other extensions. So we just want to compare the .com though right now. So I'm going to click Add to Cart. Um, I'm going to continue to cart and I'm going to get to uh, the privacy page. Now it's asking you if, if you want privacy protection or not. Now if you've ever registered a domain without privacy protection, the chances are that you came back and got privacy protection. Um, each domain you register is required to keep um, your information in a public database. And this includes your physical address, your email address, and your phone number. If you put false information down, if you put a, a wrong address, a wrong email address, or a wrong phone number, they reserve ICANN, the regulation here, the regulation body of names and numbers, they reserve the right to suspend your domain. So you can't put a fake information, you have to put the real stuff. Um, so this is why privacy protection is important, because if you're registering a domain for your business or even for yourself, you don't want the average Joe, or I don't want the average Joe knowing where I live. I don't want them knowing my phone number, and I don't want my email address out there because I get enough spam is the way it is. And of course, that database is queried and crawled by every spammer, scammer, salesman, saleswoman in the world. Um, so if you don't register with privacy protection, your information is going to be solicited, and it's really annoying. So. Um, Again, if you don't register it, you definitely will after you go through that. So we're going to continue on with these options. 
Um, and so I get to the end here and you can see I'm at 43 bucks. Well, they default to two years. A domain, you have to pay for it. You have to renew it every year or pay for it in advance or to keep it. Um, so let's just go to one year. Let's just say you, you like to do it one year. That's me personally, that's what I do. I just renew them every year. So if I do one year with the privacy protection, my cost is $20.16. So we're a little far off from that $11.99 that we first saw on there. And you see they've added some taxes and fees and then you know the privacy privacy is eight dollars but again without the privacy I mean your information's out there so why would you want that so that's um, that's what it costs to get a um, domain at GoDaddy so let's um, let's now talk about name hero um, I develop name hero based on my own needs each month each year I invest in a lot of different um, domains I it's I use that as my real estate virtual real estate instead of buying uh, physical land I buy virtual land domains and um, I've been doing this since 1998 so I've been doing it for a long time well a couple years ago I um, built my own platform more than a couple years ago several years ago I built my own platform because I registered so many names it only makes sense to um, have my own platform to where I could have everything in there so I don't have to use guys like GoDaddy I can have everything on my own stuff and I built it around what I needed um, simple easy fast to search um, so in comes our instant domain search let's click on it um, so this is basically a search engine that we developed and we can start typing in our domain this is my new domain 2017 and it's automatically going to search through all these different TLDs. I don't like to wait when I'm searching for new names. You know, I don't want to click anything. I just want to see it. So you can see almost instantly, we can see that this name's available. Our base price is $12.98. And, um, you know, if I want to register any of these other ones, I can do that from here. So let's click on it. Um, at this point, you can see we've got our configuration screen and our ID protection is right here. We have a couple other features here, but I'm going to ignore that for now. We're just going to talk about ID protection. Um, our ID protection is not going to be $9 a year. It's $2.98 a year. We try to keep it very affordable. So I'm going to click continue. And you can see our total for the domain is $15.96. So we've got our domain registration and we've got our privacy protection. We're off to the races. So at Name Hero, we're coming in about five and a half dollars cheaper than Name Hero or than GoDaddy. Um, so their privacy again is eight bucks. Ours is two ninety eight. Uh, if you don't add it, you'll want to come back and definitely add it. Um, so that's kind of where we are as far as the domains go. The domains registrations. It really doesn't matter who you register your domain with. A domain's a domain. Whether you pay Name Hero, whether you pay GoDaddy, it's the same thing. Nothing. There's nothing. Absolutely nothing different. It doesn't work any different. It doesn't load faster. It's the same. So why pay more if you don't have to? That's kind of what I've always said about this. Um, let's go to our blog back. Let's go back to this post here. And let's just look at, um, let's talk one more thing about privacy protection before we move on. If I scroll down here, you can see in my post, here's what your information looks like in the public who is database. Um, you would have your company name, if you, if you have a company. You would have your name. You would then have your exact address. Again, this is your physical address. You cannot lie on this information. If the information is invalid, they reserve the right to suspend your domain. They can essentially take it from you. Um, of course, your city um, and zip, your country, your phone number, and your email address. So this is what it looks like. It's visible to the public. Using privacy protection, our product here at Name Hero is called Who is Hero? And you'll see we replace it with our information, our Who is Agent information. And if someone emails your protected email address, you still get the good stuff. We have a spam filter on it that if someone spams you, it's going to kick it out. You're only going to get the good stuff. Um, you only get the good emails. If someone sends you a piece of mail, and it's a, not a piece of spam mail. If it's a legit piece of mail, we will forward that to your physical address. Uh, now, unfortunately, with phone calls, we cannot forward, but if they call our number looking for you, we can make sure we rel relay the message. So that's how our privacy protection works. We basically just mask all of your personal information, replace it with ours, which still filters through to you. So it's basically like we cloak your information and then pass it on to us, which we can get in touch with you if we need be. Um, so that's domains. That's comparing us against GoDaddy's domains. Let's talk about web hosting. 
So after you have your domain, you have to get hosting if you want to develop your website. Now, if you're like me and just buying domains investments, you know, you might not need hosting for all of them, at least yet. And that's fine. You know, that's fine. You can just keep hanging on to the domain until you need it. Uh, but when you need hosting, um, it's a very important piece of the puzzle because you have to have it to have a website. You can't have a website without web hosting. So let's go back to GoDaddy. Let's, um, let's um, I want to empty my cart here. Let's just go back and click web hosting. I don't even see where to do it, so let's just go back to hosting. Learn more. Okay, so learn more. Where are the, where are your hosting plans, GoDaddy? Um, there they are. Okay, so three forty nine a month. I'm gonna go just for the lowest package. We're just looking for basic, basic web hosting. So their economy here is right here. Um, so let's add it to cart. Okay, so now let's go through this process. We're looking just for basic web hosting. We're going to go for their cheapest thing they have. Um, so we're going to look to host one website. So go down here. This is the billing term. Um, most hosting companies, name here included, we don't bill per month. We bill on a, on a um, three months, 12 months, 24 months, 30 month. We bill on a, a couple months period because obviously um, to offer the best rate, we reward customers that sign up longer and GoDaddy does the same thing. So I'm going to choose 36 months because that's where you get the best price and I suggest you doing the same thing. Why pay more if you don't have to? Even though it's a little bit more up front in the long run, you win. Next, um, add site backup and restore. Now this is something that I recommend you keep because if you have a website and something goes down or you lose a piece of data, that can be really detrimental to your business. So when I compare to Name Hero, we're gonna do the same thing. Scroll down here. Now, malware scan and removal. Most people will ignore this. Well, I'm telling you that's not the best thing to do because if your website gets malware, it can be deleted especially if you use WordPress, especially if you use any PHP applications, everything can be very vulnerable. You need to have this. I don't know why they don't include it, but they do for $5 a month and they tell me it's on sale. SSL certificates. Google has already said, if you don't have an SSL certificate, they are going to show you lower in the rankings. Now they said that three years ago, so that's in a, it's in effect now. If you don't have an SSL certificate on your website, regardless how big or small you are, you're going to show up lower in the search results. Now my blog post, I said that's a lot like buying a car without a car battery. You, know, you have this car, it's ready to go, but you don't have the battery to power it. Well, if you have this website, it's all ready to go, but you're not showing up in Google searches with your custom or potential customers, then what do you have? I mean, it's not 1998. People aren't going to just type in a random.com. Nowadays, everyone's going to Google stuff. They Google everything. So you want to show up high, so you want to add the certificate. Once again, it's not included. It's 584 a month. Continue. All right, good news, you get a free domain of this order. No thanks, we're gonna pass up on this because we just wanna talk about the hosting right now. All righty, so now I want to remove the domain. Well, actually it's gonna be free, so it doesn't change the price, maybe a few cents. Okay, um, so our total is $430.07. Now, once again, that's for 36 months or three years um, because that's where I'm gonna get the best rate. So let's go look at Name Hero. So here's Name Hero. Um, we offer our products called Lightspeed Web Cloud Web Hosting. Our web hosting is a little bit faster than GoDaddy, and I'll talk about that towards the end, but let's just get down here and compare price. So our starter package starts at $389 per month, base rate, um, and it, that's for 36 months as well. So let's get through here. Um, we can use it for my current domain, it's in the cart, that's fine. All right, and we can look. You can see the discount applies on checkout. So when we get to checkout, we'll go from there. Um, drop my site, off site backups. Remember at GoDaddy, we said we were gonna choose that. Now at Name Hero, we actually let you choose your space, the 199 a month, um, perfect. Same as we did at GoDaddy. Dedicated IP address, don't worry about that. We're just gonna get a direct comparison. We already have our domain of ID protection, which we can empty that from our cart. We'll do that when we get here. Um, the ID protection, we can just kill this out. Um, and just go from here. Okay, so here's a direct comparison on the price. 186.73 versus 430.07. Now, at Name Hero, we go back to our web hosting page. All of our packages come with free and unlimited SSL as well as free nightly malware scans. We don't charge like GoDaddy here. They charge for those features. They call it website security essential. Ours comes automatically because I believe that 
just like a car without a battery, what's the use in having a website if you don't have the security automatically added into it? I, I'm more scared at Name Hero to people not having this because I feel like when people are cheap, they won't put it in their cart, they won't buy it, but then it makes our whole network not as safe. Our network is safer because we offer this. So why would you not want to offer it for every account complimentary? Why would you want to charge people to make your network more secure? Because if someone gets into one account, what says they can't get to another account? So that's why we include it. We don't charge extra. So if you're comparing Name Hero to GoDaddy prices for one website to host for 36 months, SSL certificate, malware scanning, uh, they're more than double on the price. Let's go back to my card. $186 versus $430. We go back and we look at GoDaddy's numbers, and this is how that they can afford $228 million on sales and marketing. This is how they can afford to throw up $1.8 billion in revenue. Um, so that's the price, though. And I don't want to hate too much on GoDaddy because I'm not saying they're horrible. I'm just saying there's, they're a lot more expensive once you get to the meat and potatoes of it. Now, outside of all of this, the included features and all this, at Name Hero, we do a little something a little bit different. Go on down here. Um, when I started Name Hero, much like um, my domain experience, I was frustrated. Um, I've been running web hosting, or not web hosting, I've been running internet-based businesses since the late 90s, since GoDaddy got started. And um, my old company was a discussion forum where we trained internet marketers. And I got really frustrated because when we were training these internet marketers, they all needed web hosting for their materials so they could put to use the training and make money. And um, regardless of what they were marketing, everyone always needed web hosting and domains. And it was just an essential key piece. Well, we used to recommend a couple different hosts. And I started to get really frustrated because I couldn't recommend a, a host without them being bad to my customers, meaning that the, either the, something lacked, either the features lacked or the customer service lacked, either the features were good, you know, there's always something. Um, so that's why I was like, well, I've developed this cloud hosting platform for my own sites, why don't I just take this platform and make it public? And that's what I did. The hosting here at Name Hero, everything is on top of our high-speed cloud. Um, so of course we're going to offer the free backups, the free SSL certificates, and the free malware scanning. That's going to come included. But if I go on down here, um, I talk about our infrastructure. You know, we use something called Lightspeed Web Server. In layman's terms, it's nine times faster than what you're going to find over at GoDaddy. Sometimes in the office, I call it Slow Daddy. And if you don't believe me, go sign up at GoDaddy, go sign up at Name Hero, and just compare us. Compare your site load time. Um, because I built this hosting platform based on what I needed for my business, it allowed us to be able to offer a higher quality product. You know, we're able to, to utilize solid state drives. GoDaddy uses old school SATA drives because it's cheaper. It's about double the cost if we compare infrastructures than it is to, to Name Hero versus GoDaddy. Their infrastructure costs a lot less than what we've built. But that's because they're more concerned about that $200 million on marketing. They're, they're want to, they want to advertise to the masses. They want to be the, the Coke of web hosting. So we have Coca-Cola and soft drinks. They want, to be the, they want to be the staple of the web hosting industry. Um, they're more concerned about marketing and branding and all that versus the actual infrastructure. And that's fine. Their, their average customer is not the technical nerd. It's not the techie person that really cares that much. Um, a lot of people, they just don't know. They know they need a web host, and they just go with GoDaddy because that's what they've heard. Um, and Name Hero, that's why we're a bit more technical, and I don't want to bore you with the details, but it's just fascinating. It's our, you know, our platform, our hosting is just faster. Uh, your website's going to load faster, which Google says, almighty Google, that they will show faster websites higher up in their search engine, their search results. So when people are searching for you, your business, your website, you're going to show up higher if you have an SSL certificate and if your page loads faster. Talk to any search engine optimization expert, and the first thing they're going to tell you if they know what they're talking about, you need to make sure your website's fast. If it's slow, you're going to be penalized, especially with the, with the evolution of mobile devices. People want fast websites. If your website's slow and they're on their phone and they have a crappy network, they're going to go be gone, and you're going to lose that customer. Um, so that's the comparison between our hosting and our domains um, with GoDaddy. You know, it kind of is what it is. Um, you know, I don't, want to, I don't want to completely bash GoDaddy because I don't think they're a horrible company. Um, we have several customers I talk My, I've got a cousin that uses GoDaddy. He told me, Ryan, I use GoDaddy because, and he gave me his reason, and said, you know, if you get 
this reason, then maybe I'll come to you. So I don't want to bash them because I'm not saying they're horrible, um, but I'm just doing a comparison first off right on top of the prices. Um, you know, I compared the domain prices, showed which one was better than the other. Um, I showed the web hosting and then the quality. Uh, now, Name Hero 2, we are very, very transparent because I know that, you know, why not trust the billion dollar company? You know, why trust the smaller guy? Um, so we are very transparent. So if you click that link or you can go to the bottom of Name Hero and click reviews down here and you can see we publish all these reviews. Um, we want you to know what our customers are saying. We want you to know what to expect when you sign up at Name Hero. Rather you want one domain or rather you want 10 domains, rather you want a thousand domains, rather you want hosting or not, we are going to make a promise to you to offer you a high quality service that you can trust. And um, that's no BS. You know, we want to be very transparent. So we publish these reviews. And you can see this is a third party we use to collect our reviews. You can see verified buyer beside each of these. So you can see what people say about us, um, and, and real people, nothing that we've written, you know, this, these are really written by our customers, and you can go through all the pages here. Um, we've got a couple um, social media reviews, and it looks like we have a Facebook account that's not working here, um, but we have some um, um, Facebook reviews that are all up on here. I don't know why those those are gone. We'll have to we'll have to see what happened to those. Um, but we have you know reviews we're importing in from Facebook, people that put on our Facebook pages. And we can go on down here, got all those. We have some industry reviews that were submitted before we put in our review system, so you can see those. We also publicize the feedback we get inside of our help desk. So you can click on here, and this is an actual screenshot of feedback that we've collected from all our tickets. Now you can see some people leave comments, some don't, but everyone's asked to rate the text on a 1 to 10 scale. Um, so 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest, 0 meaning they didn't rate. Um, so you can see here, I mean, we strive for 10 for 10. What keeps me up at night is getting that 8 <laughs> because I want to know what happened. You know, why did we not offer 10 for 10 customer service and support? Web hosting and domains and stuff, I mean, it can be frustrating if you're not very technical minded. And I get that. That's why we want to make this as easy and as simple as possible on people. That's how we're a little bit different than, than um, GoDaddy. You know, we, we care about your business. We care about your business. We want to um, help you out. We want to see your website succeed. We want to see your business succeed online. We want to make it as easy as possible. So that's my comparison. That is my comparison against um, Name Hero versus GoDaddy. Feel free to read the blog post if you're watching this video on Facebook or on YouTube. It's Best GoDaddy Alternative for 2017, Name Hero versus GoDaddy. Are we the best? I'll let you determine that. You know, I'm biased because I developed Name Hero. It's my company. So I'm going to be biased against it. But, you know, you're free to make your own conclusions, your own decisions. Um, you can try us out for 30 days. You don't like us, we'll give you your money back. I mean, we've, we stand behind our products here at Name Hero. So that's it. Um, I really hope you enjoy this video and this comparison. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Our sales team would love to, um, you know, talk to you, get to know you, and help you decide on your solution. But besides that, thanks so much for watching, and thank you for using NameHero.com.